What is going on YouTube fam? We are out here after a long rainy day yesterday and man we have some exciting stuff for you. I mean I am so excited to be out here right now. The boys are over there playing with all the baby goats we have right now. They are literally the cutest things in the entire world. They might even be cuter than our kids. Let's be honest. So right now we're just doing chores and gonna unlock. We're moving a little slower today. We had a crazy, crazy week and we just decided to sleep in just a teeny bit longer than we normally do, which is okay. So I'm letting the chickens out. I'm actually really excited today because we got something new to show you, which we will be showing you soon. And can you be quiet, please? But also, uh, I am super excited today because. Do you? What do you? What else you want to talk? Let Let's just let you talk. What do you got to say about it? Go ahead. Go ahead with your bad stuff. That's what he thinks. So, we are very excited today. Look at the diary that you are. There's some mega diarrhea. Oh, yep, there's mega. If you didn't hear it, he said he said there's mega diarrhea. <laughs> well, that's that comes with animals, right? But this is our little goat, male goat area. We kind of have them isolated. And they, you know, with water and feed, but they are out of hay, so I'm filling them up. But yeah, let me get back to the topic here. I'm super excited because we have got a few things and we're actually able to progress in our homestead and improve. And for anybody out there that does that, progression and, and improvement in your homestead is like usually like the most exciting stuff. So don't even think about it, Bobo. Ugh. If you're new to this channel, well, we say welcome and thank you for joining us. If you don't have goats, wonder maybe why we have them. So we actually use goats for we use goats for their goat milk. We actually milk our goats, our, and we use the goat milk to make yogurt. And uh, Jessica makes goat caramel, which is phenomenal. Goat caramel is literally the best caramel ever. It is delicious. Okay. And so here, Bobo, which is the smaller buck with the black and white, he's our weather, and then the other one is our is our breeding buck. But yeah, so let's get into the exciting stuff here. All right, so we got some new fencing from Premier One. And if you don't know about Premier One, they are a fantastic company that sells a ton of stuff but really they they focus in on selling uh electric fencing so if you are interested and have never heard of premier one you should check them out we are not affiliated or sponsored or supported it's just we just like the product homesteaders if you see their channels most of them run premier one it is a little pricey if um, if you don't have the solar. If you have the solar and you're just buying fencing, it's not it's not that bad. But prices are going up. So so we just got some new some new 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 fencing. So there's the solar there's the solar panel right there. This is this is the Energizer. Is the new one? The, um, the, yep, the solar and Intellis Shock 60. So that's that's the new one. I had it out here charging. It, the box did get rained on, but I didn't really care. Uh, and then there's the see. Look, it's not it's not it's still wrapped. So that is for our pigs. We're gonna be moving our pigs to the back pasture and st let them start doing what they do best, which is rooting and and cleaning up and and all that. So I'm very excited to get them get them back there. There's a but we are the crazy homesteaders. And because you want to tell them a new cat.
cow named Pootie. Yep, we got a new Jersey cow. Look at her. She is beautiful. Do you see her? And she's super, look at this, she is so friendly. So I need to get her some treats so she gets used to coming to our hand. But we bought her, she came in Wednesday, Wednesday uh, no, Thursday at 1 a.m. The delivery guy was having issues with traffic and stuff, so when it ended up being a certain time, ended up being hours later. So we got her at 1 a.m. She's in here in the pasture with Belle. We will be moving Belle along to somewhere else. Um, but uh, Pudding, which is what uh, the boys wanted to name her and everything, so we agreed. So Pudding, our new cow, she is pregnant. And she will be delivering in June, which we are so, so excited. So excited. Because we're going to get milk, 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 milk. And I'm going to tell you right now, our boys drink some serious milk. So, let's go through what we're doing today. We're going to be taking Miss Puddin, Miss P. We're going to be bringing her to the front yard. I have electric fencing for the front yard. We're going to let her graze the front yard for a little bit. After we get her situated over there, we're going to move the pigs to the back pasture. So, let's get, let's get everything situated. We also bought... I don't have, we don't really have the money to get like a big pole barn. Sorry, my hand is, but that tarp shed right there um, is filled, that tarp shed right there is filled with hay. So we got another tarp shed just like that for, uh, um, to cover our, the tractor and all our gear and the, you know, the four wheeler and stuff. So maybe depending on time and how things go, uh, we'll work on that too. If you're wondering what you should do on your homestead right now that, that can help improve, I would really look at your infrastructure. How, you, how are you working your water? How are you working your fencing? Does it, does it make sense what you're doing and will it help you in accomplishing your future goals? Uh, if you haven't assessed any of those, that would probably be a good time to do so now. If you have the money to start getting things to improve it, well then by all means do it. If you don't, then you need to pri prioritize what, what is important at the moment. So here's the front yard. But look at this grass. We've been working on this grass, but look how green and lush that is. Now it might be, it's probably a little too early to be grazing her up here, but I'm gonna do it anyways. We ran our chicken tractors through here, so that's why it's like super green. But I'm gonna run, let her run through here for just a couple hours. Maybe a day and, or so. And no, we're not going today. She'd tear this up in a day. And we're just gonna we're gonna keep a close eye on her. And if she if she uh, if we kind of get it where we want it, then I'll then I'll move her back to the pasture. So our goal is to do rotational grazing. So we are we're we're gonna be working on getting our our back pasture much better working on our back we're actually going to create our backyard as a pasture so instead of seeding it with like typical grass we're actually going to seed our backyard with pasture grass so we can actually use it for grazing but then it'll be nice lush and green for the boys to play in and stuff so we got plans all right let me get the cart This is a, the other charger we have, Energizer, that we have for, um, we got from Tractor Supply. That actually works really, really well. And so we're gonna use, we're gonna use that Energizer for the uh, front yard fencing and then the new Premier One IntelliShock. Yeah, you're gonna grab that for me. Uh, we're gonna use for the, pi we're gonna use for the pig fencing. I'm gonna grab a T-post for this too. I like keeping the energizers off the ground. Not that they can't be on the ground, but I like having them high. They get better sun, but also, you know, it, it avoids tripping hazards and, and all that.
We're gonna go over towards the shed. Eli, I'm just grabbing the grounding rod. That's good right there. So, see all these stakes here? Those are what we need to get. Not all of them, but uh, some of them. Just Let's try, um... Make sure that we are There you go. Good job. There you go. It might be hitting a rock. Just move it a couple inches. Or we'll just move it right there. Go ahead, step on it. There you go. Good job. Nice. Right here, Maddie. Yep, right there. Go ahead. We got all the posts in that we want outlined so we're gonna go ahead and set up the wire and then I'll have to grab a t-post for the energizer good job Eli you were talking, I'm like... yeah I know our, our neighbor Daddy? neighbor stopped by to talk to me for a little bit Daddy? you're doing a good job yeah Daddy? yeah Daddy will go in the stop. yep well, Eli's got this covered. He's he's mastered this up. Huh. Yeah, you want me to help you? No, I got it. You got it? So we found these posts someone was selling um, on Facebook Marketplace, and they were selling like 300 posts for 75 bucks. Now I know to some some of you that don't know this, that sounds like oh, 75 bucks sounds like a lot of money. It's actually not. These posts are, uh, uh, I think, a tractor supply right now, 2.99 a post. So, you, um, and I think they were on sale, so you'd get them for 1.99. So you're talking two dollars a post, a three. And then around 300 posts. I mean, that's crazy. So I, we had to. I told Jessica, I was like, we, even if we may not need them at this moment, I was like, we need to pick that up because that, that is a deal and a half. And so that's where we got these posts from. So as you can see, it kind of looks like a. We have them. We have. We're gonna have her go around the patio. That grass section right there is just. It's just a little too tight to the driveway and our blueberry bushes. I don't want her trampling on all that. What do you think? Where were you? Where were you, mister? In the dope pen. Oh, oh, skipping out on some work. This is going to go make some snuggles, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Is that what you're doing? Pretty much. Caught you red-handed. The whole world's gonna know now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a window out easy. Do we have enough? Oh man, we have plenty. That's awesome. So I got this when I ordered uh, the electric fencing for the pigs. I also got this uh, tester for it too. This is for an extra few bucks. It's worth it. And you just, once you put the 9 volt battery in, you just press the button and you touch the fence and it'll tell you where the vo if it's on and if the voltage is running and how strong it's hitting. So it's, it would be nice to know. Instead of uh, doing the old glass, the grass blade trick. Chloe, come here. She's gonna be an absolute mess, muddy mess. She's a golden doodle, and she acts like a farm dog. It's so funny. She like rounds up the chickens and everything. We'll have to try to get that on video. Okay, I'll get it. Good job filling that up. We're gonna use this. Here comes the big move. Fence is done. Fence is done. We gave her a five gallon bucket of water. I know that's not enough for the day, but she's not gonna stay here for the day. It's just for a few hours to let her graze the front yard. He's something big. some green grass all right so we got pudding hey pudding how you doing i'm mama this is baby opal thank you for coming to live with us we're gonna treat you real good we are are you gonna be a mama too but we just noticed there's a cow in our yard all right, so we we got we got uh, pudding in the front yard, and um, we're gonna go ahead and get the pigs moved and set up the fencing and everything. So let me show you the shock here, this Intel shock. There's a little clip right here. So if you squeeze it, let me make sure you guys can see this. So if you squeeze right here and just push it up, voila. And then the ground, which is the black wire, is disconnected from the battery when it comes shipped. So you would just take the plastic piece off, connect the ground wire to it, and then you're good to go. Okay? And, how do you and then you can just... This is all about like what kind of That's angle you want. It's, the wire squished. Oh, okay, it is? Yeah. Thanks. And then you can change... You can change the angle of where you want the, sol the solar panel to recharge the battery. And then there's a button right here. You press it and it's on. And then you can charge it with AC if you want it as well. Okay. So that's that. So this is the grounding rod for this Teleshock. And what that does is right down here, it slides right there. It slides right here on the bottom, and you would just slide that in, and then you can push the Teleshock in, and then it should be grounded. 
Um, but where we're going is more wet area. And I think I mentioned before, I like having things off the ground. So we are not going to use that. We're gonna use a T-post again. This is another digital tester to tell you how hot the uh, is. I got two of them. I got that red one and then I got this one. This came with the, the kit. All right. We separated cows and just panicking. All right. So that's the AC adapter if you want to charge the battery through AC. And then here are the cables. Of course, orange would be hot and then red will be, I mean, a black will be ground. So right here, red is hot and then black is ground. Don't go by the wire right now because they're, they're going by the color handles, the, the color crimps there. So there's a hole in this screw. We're gonna just put that in there, just like that. And then we're gonna clamp down on it. You want, you can, you can. Yeah. going to drive me crazy our animals are going crazy today this way all right I'm excited for this too we're moving our pigs back to the next level of our pasture instead of letting the pigs tear up our pasture down because we are close to having to seed our backyard and the pasture and all that. Got it? You can see, look at the look at the ground though. See how nice and dark it is right now? Man, I gotta... Um, grade this a little bit and scoop up all these sticks and then we're gonna be able to see that pasture and then I want everything out of it. We're gonna go put them in the woods, wow. Yep, that's why we got the electric fence to keep them safe, keep them in, and, but also keep predators out. That means we're gonna get wood. That gecko would be really funny for the folks. Guys, I just wanna tell you something. Um, by the time we go out tomorrow, we'll see bacon on the dirt. So right here, you can see there's there's a nice clear open spot. So this gonna, we're gonna put the solar solar generator uh, energizer right here, but it stays so wet. So that's why I wanted the T post. I'm gonna have to order that adapter. But see all this? This is where the pigs are going. So we're gonna go ahead and work on setting this up so that they can start clearing all this out. Sorry about that, y'all. Our battery died. I had to get a new battery. So we got the fence up. That was a pain in the butt because all the branches and trees everywhere. But Eli's gonna try to get the pigs. You're gonna have to take the lid off first, Eli, so that they see you got scraps. And we gotta wait for the third pig. Where's the third one? Come on, big pig. I'll open it. You gotta, you gotta stay close to them. They gotta get real close to you. Slow down a little bit, slow down a little bit. There you go. There you go.
Slow down a little bit, let them catch up. All right, pour it right in there. Pour it right in there so they see it. Nice, good job, Eli. You just let some pigs in. So put it on that metal clip. Make sure it works. Put the orange on. No, put the or you gotta put the orange on first. Grab the orange clip. Yep. Clip, clip it right there. Yep. There you go. Turn it on. You ready? You're gonna hear one squeal. There you go. Boom. There you go. <laughs> so this is a pig quick fence. It's only 30 inches tall. We did two. We ha I got two 100 foot uh, netting. So that's 200 feet. So we're just gonna move them in sections as this gets super cleared out. And as they're clearing it out, I'll come behind them with a tractor, get any of the small trees out, and then branches, and then just move on. But I want them, instead of me doing it first, I'd like them to dig and root and... The pigs are extremely useful. All right, let's see what happens. Good job, Eli. Thanks. Thank you for your help. My first time ever weeding some pigs. Yeah, you did a really good job. Wait, where did in the world, oh, you put the right there. Good job. Good job. This is why we do this as a family. Not only do we get to work with the kids, but they're a big help too. Let me sign off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this, you can check out our vid other videos uh, here, or you can subscribe and make sure you share this with friends and family. Well, you guys have a blessed day. Bye.